Hey there, this is one up Indie here coming with the magic of semantic versioning or short SAMVer. So what is it? Why is it important? Why is there a specific structure? So let's say what you're seeing in front of you, all those three numbers, they actually have a meaning if you can read them out quickly. So this is for you developers, actually a very important thing because this is kind of a standard format how you can do this. Of course, you can just call it ABCD or whatever, but that stuff is actually a pretty solid foundation how you can do it for your game. So if you're just thinking, hey, one up indie, you couldn't have picked a complete and more drier and more boring topic. And the answer is, yeah, that's, that's pretty much a low point. But hey, that stuff is 101 in software development and you need to understand this. So once again, semantic versioning, super, 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 once again, important to understand how that works, what those three numbers work, um, how they work in tandem, what they actually mean and how you kind of go from one version to the other one and so on. So let's just jump very, very quickly into an explanation because it's not too deep, to be honest. You got three numbers going from the right to the left and the last one actually is just for patches. So let's say you mess something up, which never happens, software development, <laughs> and you know, and then you just need to patch something up and then you just go up with one number, like one, two, three, four, five, and then of course, it just goes into 10, 11. So this could be more than one number. So this is just not limited to nine. It can go upwards into infinity if you're patching a lot or just having some small changes. Then let's go into the middle number, which is for minor version. What does that mean? Well, let's say you add some features. Let's say, I don't know, in my game, it would be, I don't know, for the runes. Now you can have a pet and then we unlocked a new slot for pets. Therefore, this would be a new feature, but it's not breaking the whole game. Hopefully it's not breaking the whole game, but it, it didn't, so this is okay. And therefore you're just adding new minor features to it. This is too important to understand minor features, which are enhancing, giving you content, giving you stuff, but it's not a major thing. So as hopefully you can imagine the last number is kind of important. We start with zero because this is how normally it goes. You have um, alpha, then the beta, then a release. Release would be then one and everything before one. Well, it's a zero, so we are still in zero. And then here we hit two uh, consecutive updates. So therefore giving new content. And then of course, um, I guess the first one I patched like three times because we wanted to add uh, and fix up some, some issues which people had. And boom, this is how those three numbers are being uh, well represented. And this is extremely important because of 101 in software development, which is just showing the state of your software, of your game in principle. So once again, here the general state and this number can of course go upwards. After one, it's a full release. And then after that, it's just post release, like the number two, number three, number four, number five, because then it's a stable version. As you can see, it says, hey, break the API because this is a complete, uh, well, major update. And then small incremental changes or small incremental additions uh, small content which is not completely breaking and making it kind of a new version so let's say windows 7 windows 8 something like this but of course you know the transition and then of course for bug fixes here the last number so where can we actually find that in game so let's get rid of here the pop-up well you can actually find it under well you can actually read it out with the gm version this is then uh, well, a constant so you cannot change it here you have to change it in game options and then depending on what kind of platform you're on you have to set it up so let's say here you have four numbers actually so we have here early alpha then second iteration and then uh, one little bug fix here so this is what those numbers mean but of course if you just go into game options and then you go on another android boom you just get three numbers here once again um, kind of standardized and you can uh, you need to set up those things depending what kind of uh, well export you are targeting. So once again, you have to change and do that for all of those. So once again, this um, version number is dependent on your target platform on which you are. So basically this 
constant will give different kind of numbers out depending what kind of you are so please don't uh, uh, misunderstand it or well confuse it with the gm runtime this is the thing here which they actually also do so this is well <laughs> how they call that here and then boom this is the way it goes so hopefully you learned something and now you know how well semantic versioning in short samver works kind of easy three numbers once again very very quickly hopefully i can hammer that really home because this is super important but later on um, if you mess this up it becomes unclear for i don't know for potential buyers or people just see like some random numbers and then it doesn't make any sense but here this nice sanitization is actually kind of neat and very simple to understand major updates so early alpha uh, what was it alpha beta and then full release and then post releases small updates and then patch fixes and small changes which had to uh, well to do uh, well which we're just fixing some stuff hopefully you enjoyed this and see you the next time bye bye